All right. So to start this off, can you please introduce yourself okay. and what do you do in this game jam? Okay. Uh, my name is Vincent Lassane. I am the, I guess, programmer and mostly lead developer on this uh, in this game jam for my team. And we are working on a game about knowing your rights and situations where you are protesting and approached by police officers. Cool. So when you're being approached by police in this processor mm -hmm. game, um, well, I mean, what kind of game is it? It's gonna be like a 2D side scrolling or? So this is like a visual novel. Um, so very story story based basically. Um, a lot of it is police encounter you, police approach you, and then based on what you do, um, takes you down a separate branch of the story. And then at the end of each story, we try to make sure that people know about like, um, let's say if you want to verbally try to get in between an officer and like someone they're interrogating at the moment, you know, what can you say? What is protected speech? Um, certain forms of crit criticism are protected speech, that kind of things. And um, but you know, things using like hate speech is not protected, so you would be in trouble with the law at that point. So kind of goes through that, teaches people lessons about, puts them in different scenarios and tries to teach them the law while doing that. Nice. Um, <clears throat> what do you think about the Game Jam's theme? Uh, I think it's great. Uh, I like things where we work with people that are not in our discipline, so I never thought I would be working with a lawyer or law students. Uh, I never thought I would be making a game focused around uh, the law. I feel like that's an important thing right now, especially a lot of people who are, especially in, for our game, new to, we have a lot of people in Seattle who do protests and are very new to protests, first protest day usually. A lot of people have done protests the first time in the city, so like I was at, uh, like I've been to a lot of Black Lives Matter protests and like uh, immigration protests, protests here, and a lot of people do not understand um, those laws and what officers can and cannot do to them and when they need to get a lawyer and things like that. Um, so I think game games like this are good. They emphasize on the overlap that we can, how we can overlap with other disciplines to create media that will appeal to people and educate them. Nice. Um, what do you hope to accomplish with your 48 hour game jam? Uh, personally, I plan to accomplish, uh, of course, having a game, uh, something, a complete feature, complete game. Um, and I feel like that would help me personally uh, grow in scoping things better. Uh, so usually why I do game jams, so I learn about scope and uh, design process and also being able to work with big teams. So uh, this is the largest team I've worked with at the game jam. It's about six or seven people on my team. And I think it really helps, uh, helps me personally to be better at making games and making art and putting my thoughts into reality, I guess. Okay, right, cool. Can you just give me like a brief overview of the people in your team and what they do? Oh, by names and everything? You don't have to say the names. Okay. You can just say like, we have six people, two of them are artists. I just want to know what the team composition oh, okay. is. Uh, I can't remember everybody's name actually. Okay. So we have Amanda and Miguel, who are our legal consultants. Uh, they both law students. They are helping us create the content for, uh, they are helping us with the, the more legal aspects of the content. Amanda is doing a lot of uh, scenario writing right now, actually. Um, we have Brenna, she's doing art, and she's also helping out with some of the game development stuff. Um, myself, programmer, developer mostly. John, who is also a programmer and a developer. And um, combined with him, we are both implementing the story and uh, anything else needs to take care of, like art, uh, putting it in the game engine and audio I'm taking care of in the game engine and then we have Rob who is our main artist and he's 3D primarily we're doing a game in 2D and he's doing his art in 3D and he's making it work with art magic basically <laughs> and then we have um, one other girl one second let me look at this board real quick yeah no problem uh, Morgan, that's her name. Okay. 
So I'm missing the frame recorder. Yep, you're perfect. Okay, go okay. ahead. Uh, we have Morgan, who is our main 2D artist at the moment. And she's doing a lot of texturing, and yeah, that's about it. Texturing, and Rob's taking care of the animations, and then Brennan's taking care of the backgrounds and stuff, so that's about it. Sounds like a quite a sizable <laughs> team. Yeah, I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to remember everybody. Like, Oh, and we have Rose, who's the original pitcher of the idea. Nice. And uh, she um, helps us with her knowledge of uh, protesting knowledge. She's been around doing that a lot longer than I have. And uh, again, it was her main idea. So she's main consultant, you know, the visionary, I guess, of the, of the, of the group. Cool. Very cool. Now, um, how has this game jam been versus the game jams you have participated in the past? What do you think about this one? Uh, I think this game is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, people are definitely willing to help each other out. I've noticed a lot of enthusiasm, I should say. Um, thankfully, like other game jams, people know their limits and aren't trying to like basically almost die uh, staying up all night, which is pretty good. People, I think a lot of people are pretty hands-on, are pretty good with their time management here. Um, I've done a lot of game jams before. It's like sometimes it'd be kind of a train wreck. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes people would be like, you know, passing out of their desk kind of thing. Um, and I think this one's going pretty well. I mean, for myself, because I've done a few game jams, so I know when to scope down and you know how to be prepared. So I think this game jam prepared us for pretty healthy uh, behaviors, um, especially with the extra, you know things like setting us up with the extra credits video for people who are new to game jamming. Um, definitely help set the tone for people who are new so they understand what to do and uh, I also like it because uh, I've never been inside a museum doing a game jam so I mean <laughs> that's been pretty cool uh, I feel like this environment's pretty conducive to uh, our inspiration I, think. I don't know <laughs> very cool is there any anything else that you know that has stuck out in your mind about the game jam or about people or anything like that that you'd like to add uh, I mean, <laughs> talking to lawyers is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, never thought I would be in a room, uh, getting creative ideas from like law students and stuff. Uh, and kind of a surprising thing for me. Which I mean, you know, people are from different backgrounds, so you get a lot of <coughs> mixture within uh, the different disciplines, and everyone's been pretty friendly in here. I like to say, definitely, the people are surprising. I could say that. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much, Vincent, for your time. Yeah, man.